Welcome back. In the last video, we implemented this check if we can get the user from the token. And only if we are able to extract the user, and we, can, we could use that user object thereafter to maybe assign it to a quote and so on, only if we were able to extract the user does this code proceed. So only in this case are we able to, um, well, access our quotes here or create a new quote in this case. Now I also want to protect the other actions and as I mentioned at the end of the last video we could simply copy that code into every other action and that would work but that is not really the best way to do it because it repeats our code all over the place. If we change something we have to change it everywhere and nah, not really the best way. We can use a middleware for this and the JWT auth package which we're using already ships with some middleware to use. So all we have to do is register this middleware. And we register middleware in the kernel.php file. This is where our Laravel application gets kind of configured or where the requests get, yeah, configured, you could say, where we can, in general, set up middleware you, we want to apply to our requests. And we can set up some specific middleware, which gets applied to every request. We can define some groups, which we can assign, or we can assign or create some off middleware, excuse me, some route middleware, like the off middleware. So this is all built in middleware Laravel ships with, and you might know this middleware. Now the normal off middleware here won't do the trick for us because we're not using the normal off system, we're using the JWT token. Thankfully the package we're using ships with its own middleware. All we have to do is assign it here in the route middleware array so that we can then assign it in the routes file. Now, it doesn't matter where you add it here, I'll add it at the end, simply to, well, have the separation between built-in and new um, middleware. And you can give it any name you want, you're totally free to choose that name. I will name it jwt.off to kind of resemble this off here, or maybe off.jwt makes even more sense. And then we have to point to that middleware. Now, the middleware path is timon, so this package, then JWT off, and in there we got a middleware folder namespace basically, and then we have the get user from token middleware, and here we need to get the class. So get user from token, as the name implies, fetches the user from the token and validates it. So it basically does what we did manually here. This is what this class does. And with that check in place, we can apply this to any route we want to protect. So let's go back to the api.php file and simply add middlewares. So for example, here on the post route, here I want to assign a middleware and the middleware is the off.jwt middleware, of course, just like this. I'll do the same for this put route here and for the delete route. These are the routes I want to protect and of course, we could also group them and assign a middleware to the whole group. I'll leave it like this for now. With that, the middleware is in place. And let's first see if this works as it should. So let's create a new quote here. And I'll simply change the content to another quote. The token should still be valid. If it is invalid for you, simply get a new one by authenticating again. And if I hit send, another quote, this works. Now let's try a put request to change this quote. Now let's quickly have a look at the quote controller. For the put request, we also need to pass the ID of the quote. So uh, if we have a look at the database, we could change one or two. Let's change the one. And we don't pass the ID here, we pass it in the URL before the query string here. So just slash one to change quote one, change this to a put request and change the content to changed. And let's now hit send because this is only protected by middleware. We haven't got our own check in place there. And that looks pretty good to me. Looks like it was successfully changed. And we can of course confirm this by having a look at the database where we see changed. So our middleware protection here seems to work, but now we didn't really test if it works, right? What happens if we provide an invalid token here? If we do this, then we get the token not provided error. And the same is of course true if we strip the token altogether, then we get this error too. If you're wondering why the error message changed, that is that the, or because the, um, the, the package has its own error messages in the, um, in the middleware we're, we're using here. So it overrides our handler. If you want to change this behavior, 
You can find a description on the documentation of the package I showed you earlier in one of the last videos, where you can see that it fires a couple of events whenever the validation fails, and you can hook into those events, listen to those Laravel events, and overwrite the error message there. But I'll leave it as it is, because typically you don't display this error message to the user anyways. You just need a kind of identifier to, to see which error message it is, to check this in your front-end code, and then display a user-friendly error message anyways. But yeah, enough of that. Let's remove this check here in the postcode message because we're now using the middleware. We don't need it anymore. But how could we now retrieve the user if we still need it? Well, we can simply get the user by using the JWT of Office state and then parse token again as before, but now not authenticate. We don't need to do that. We already authenticated the user in the middleware. Instead, we can call to user. And what this will do is it will give us the user only call this if you're sure that you already did validate the token and authenticate the user, which we did with the middleware. Because this will not check if the token is valid. It will not check if the user exists and so on. It will try to give us that user encoded in the token. So definitely only run this code if you did check the validity before. With that though, we got access to the user. We could now use it to assign it to a quote. I will simply return it in the response so that we can see that this does indeed work. And with that back to Postman, if we change this to a post request again, try to create a new quote, therefore change the URL and make sure to pass this token again. If it expired, make sure to authenticate again to get a new one. And then change this to a new quote. Let's hit send. Now we see that if we turn this to pretty here, we get the quote returned, but we also receive the user. So retrieving that from the token worked fine. This is how we can use a middleware and then still get access to the token, but use a middleware to protect the route without repeating our code all over the place. With that in place, our backend authentication works. We can now protect our routes. The next step is, go, is to go back to the front end and implement some code in Angular 2 and Vue.js to, well, get the token there too, store the token, and send the token to authenticate our front end user.